Welcome back. We finally have the right lights for the HVAC so we can finally put that in and put on that final trim piece. So they're right here in my hand. I also have a whiter or whitish dome light so I can replace my old dome light that's quite blue while we're at it. I maybe should have measured the bases first. So right when I was looking they have instrument lights on where I bought my lights from and they actually have the measurements of the bottom base on it. And that's what I should have measured first because this base is exactly the same size. The little notches on the side, it's going to be really hard to get it to focus, but those are the exact same size. This is the correct light by all means and it's LED. For any of you guys looking, I know a couple of you guys have um, 2004 STIs or cars with the same dash that are looking to replace it. This is the model number. They're NEO or NEO 4. They're the exact same size as the original ones coming out. They just have an LED and a little bit shorter. Also very bright. They're supposed to be much, much brighter than the original ones. Also the dome light has a little more power than the one in there. Here it is, look at all those LEDs. It's gonna brighten up the car a lot and just add a little bit more light because I do have it to run when I open my door. So this will provide a lot more light. It actually has a little tiny heat sink on the back which you know is packing a fair bit of punch when it has that. For the last time, we gotta take this HVAC out. If you haven't seen before, there's like four videos. I'll put the most recent one up on the top so you guys can watch it. But I actually don't have it mounted right. I just have it mounted here which I don't even think it's done up that tight. And here, as you can see, there's a light that goes here, 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 and here. So we're gonna take one of our LED retrofits, slot it in so you can actually see the little grooves, or you guys can, because it's too dark in there. But there's like little grooves, you just slide those in, drop it in, take your screwdriver, and twist it, I believe it goes right if you can get your screwdriver in. Once you've tightened it about a quarter turn so that it won't move, make sure it works. So just put your key in and then twist the light for nighttime. And look how bright that is, that looks awesome. So there we go, we got one light in, three more to go, but I, ooh, I really like that, that looks awesome. And it goes great with our key ring, which we did in the video previous to this, so you can go check that out right up there. Now do the exact same process, just insert them and twist them for the rest of them and then you should have a beautifully lit up HVAC. And there we go, we got the HVAC lights in, it looks amazing. I'm actually impressed of how well it came out for being an aftermarket solution. The only dark spot I see is this auto right here. I believe that's actually because there's a piece of plastic behind it and it's not the light itself. Because these lights are so bright, I am thinking it was going to create some hot spots, but it obviously didn't. And it just looks so good compared to the old green lights. I'm really happy how that turned out. Let's quickly change this light and then get that trim on there. Old one, new one. I pretty much blinded myself putting that light in. I turned it on, didn't realize it was gonna be so bright, and turns out it's really bright. It's so much brighter than the old light, and it's a really nice white compared to the super harsh white that this was give Time to put in our beautifully wrapped trim piece that I did a couple weeks ago on one of the episodes. It'll be linked, you know, up here. And we're gonna toss this on. This goes on really easy. There's just a couple screws in the back. Don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right here. There's one on the other side there and then there's one just a little bit down there that holds the HVAC to this and then the whole panel goes in with HVAC mounted. There we go, we got our whole instrument panel all done. It looks pretty good for an amateur. There's some spots that isn't perfect. So if you can see, it's kind of hard to get on camera, but there's like, it wasn't cut perfectly there. And like, also it seems to be bowing right here, if you can see. 
I tried getting that out, but it almost seems like the glue did something or it just didn't wrap right. But overall, it looks good. People aren't going to notice these little things here and there. Especially with the windows tinted, you can't see a lot and it doesn't let a lot of light in. Also looking at my dome light, it compares much better to these map lights now. These are almost like a green tinge now, never noticed that before. These, This is like a perfect white, so we've got a lot of nice light in the car now, which is awesome. Next is to do something with that horrible looking deck right there. That is it today. I just wanted to get those instrument lights changed out and get that trim piece on because it's been sitting in my garage for almost a month since we first tried to change those lights using my T4 wedge lights. Don't fit. Don't try it. But I'm glad I've got the right lights now. You guys can definitely check those light outs if you want to try it. It's super easy. It's definitely easier than I made it. Measure twice, order once is what I'll be doing for now on. Tying up those loose ends didn't take too long, so today's video is a little bit short. But until next time, peace out and stay humble.